guys, we're in Shio Dome today. I was worried it was just going to be clouded all day, but weather is maybe clearing up a little bit, so we'll see. Hopefully get some good shots, but yeah. And of course, as I say that, it didn't actually clear up all that much and stayed cloudy most of the day, which was really annoying because the forecast all week said it would be sunny. And even right up until I hopped on a train earlier in the morning, it was saying it'd be sunny. But I still got some pockets of sunlight near the end, at least. That said, part of why I like shooting here is because the architecture has a lot of geometric shapes that I can use to frame and compose. So even on a day when the light's poorer than expected, I can always rely on the architecture. Here I decided to wait around a while because I wanted to take a shot of someone walking directly below me to capture their reflections on either side of them. So I'll skip ahead to when someone does. In this area, I looked around for any frames or lines that caught my eye. I found this frame that I'm about to shoot, but 40 millimeters is a bit too wide for it. Still, took the shot anyway. You may as well. But when I came over here, I noticed these rings that formed interesting frames, so I stuck around for a little while to try a few different shots but I didn't end up staying too long because it turns out not many people were walking around through the areas I was trying to frame.
thought it'd be nice to add a few more elements to my framing than just the pillars from the last two shots. So when I noticed the little gap in the fence, I thought it might be useful in trying to form a frame. And I did the same thing again over here through this gap in the glass barrier. I wanted to place emphasis on the man coming down through the stairs, but without obstructing the view of his backdrop. When I looked up at the intersecting train tracks and bridge, I liked how it formed a frame around the approaching figure, and even pointing in the direction that he was walking. You know, I normally don't mind when others give me looks if I'm shooting a weird angle or reflection, but here it pretty easily looks like I'm just shooting my reflection. So it was actually a couple times when people stopped to try to figure out what I was shooting. So I just grabbed a few shots because the attention was making me kind of uncomfortable. But immediately as I walked away, I found some more cool reflections that formed interesting shapes and patterns. So I stuck around here again to shoot more reflections.
And this is actually where my GoPro died. These are two shots I took after my GoPro shut off, but before I noticed. I did eventually replace the battery to keep shooting, but this is about where I'll call it a day as I just kept revisiting the same spots that I've already shown you guys. I also added a little more commentary this time to give you guys some idea of what's going through my head when I'm shooting. So I hope you guys didn't mind that. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more commentary or less in future videos. But if anything, I'll probably do a mix, some with more and others with less. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.